It is Scott Trophy Banza and Tech I suppose. Today I'm taking a look at this interesting T hat AA battery to USB power adapter. So if you have a AA battery device that you want to have a dedicated power option for, this is one of those things that can make it work. One side connects some type of USB power adapter, and then of course the other side goes into your device. In my case, I have two examples. This is the main one that I want to use it with. It's a microphone that takes a single AA battery, but I want to use this in a situation where it's dedicated and always going to be running in my setup. So in that case, having to deal with AA batteries is a big hassle, but with this option, I can get away from that and just let it work. On one side, you've got the AA adapter. You can get up to four of these from that company. Of course, the voltages and everything will be different. It's nice that it's see-through. You can see the little wires going to each side. Not much to it. And then on the other side, you've got your USB connection on there. It's got a little dot indicating the 1.5 volt, 1.5 amp option. It is a one meter cable, apparently. And that goes to the power adapter. So this is the one that I've been using with this. It's a one amp rated power adapter. Obviously you can't use the cover on your device, but I'll just put some tape or something to make sure it doesn't fall out. It's pretty tight in this situation. It'll depend on your device and everything else. In the back here, there is a little light that will indicate power on the device. Put it on so we're all good. There's a green light indicating that it works. I have used this quite a bit and it seems to work fine. Here's another quick example, another AA powered device with a single AA in my case. This does USB power, but I'm just going to use this as an example for you all to show that it works over multiple devices. So it looks like it's working fine. Got the voltmeter all set up. Can test this out. 1.64 volt and it's steady. It's just any variation is me moving the little contacts around. This adapter is the oldest one I could find. It's the old Samsung phone one. It's 0.7 amp instead of 1 amp. So we'll see if this one does any worse. No issues there, 1.64 volt. So a 0.7 amp charger seems all right. Of course, this will depend on how much you're gonna pull from the unit. It might fluctuate. I don't have enough knowledge on all this stuff to know. So there's the brand name, T-Hot. And this is the single. It says up to four AA's from 1.5 volt to six volts, depending on which one you get. 